Hi everybody, today is October 7th, Friday. My name is Barry Schwartz. This is the Search Buzz video recap. And I wanted to share the uh, search news for the past two weeks. I was gone last week for Rosh Hashanah. Um, tomorrow is Yom Kippur, so anybody who you know, observes the holiday have it easy, it's a uh, meaningful fast. Um, and the next two weeks, actually, I'll be offline on Fridays. I don't know if I'll be doing videos those days. Maybe I'll do them on Sunday. I don't know. We'll see how much I have to catch up on. Anyway, um, a lot to discuss since it's been the past two weeks or so without a video. First, the Google Panda 2.5 update is now confirmed and released. It happened, um, I think it was on uh, September 28th was the Panda 2.5 rollout. It was pretty much Wednesday, the Wednesday before Rosh Hashanah. Um, Danny Webb was hit hard by it, and then they actually recovered, which I'll get to in a minute. But basically, this Panda update uh, was another um, small update to the Panda release. Um, they didn't really say how many people it hit or how hard it was, but Matt Cutts did give a weather report that they're releasing small updates to it over the course of the next few weeks. Um, one of those updates is probably uh, Danny Webb because on, uh, let's see here, on September, on October 5th, Danny Webb reported that they went ahead and uh, recovered from this update on September 28th. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, we have posted that on October 5th. And Matt Cut says, expect some Panda-related uh, fluxes in the next few weeks. We'll have less than an impact than previous updates, i.e. the 2% changes. Um, anyway, if you were hit by it, you definitely want to take a look at that. October 5th and October, I think, 3rd is our other post. Um, AdWords has made a uh, major change to their quality score. They're now factoring in landing page quality score much of uh, factors much more significantly than they were in the past. In the past, mostly it only was a negative signal for your quality score. Now it actually could boost your your quality score if you have a great landing page. Uh, if you want more information about that, October 4th, nsdroundtable.com. Also, Google launched while well, Roshana Site Health, uh, basically a way for people to see a snapshot of Google Web Master Tools, how your site is doing on a health scale. Um, it gives you pretty much updates like, uh, I don't know, too many URLs, this and that, and then it's more pronounced, so you actually see it. It's basically replacing the messages on some level, but not really, uh, but making it more prominent. The problem is, Site Health feature has a bug where it's actually listing not just the U URL, your URL, but it's actually listing the URI, uh, dashboard URL for your site, which is fairly weird. Um, I'm sure Google will fix that soon. Yesterday, we reported October 6th that the Google toolbar was not working for some people. Basically, third-party toolbars has a bug because Google changed their look, their, uh, their lookup URLs for the page rank factors. Um, and since they changed, it only works now in the Google toolbar on uh, Internet Explorer and the official Google toolbars. It does not work with, um, you know, pretty much third-party extensions or third-party toolbars unless they update it. So just keep that in mind. Your page rank has not been uh, downsized. It's just a bug with the lookup URL. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, Franz um, over at Google uh, Blogoscope Forums went ahead and did a little mashup of the Google Image Search feature where you could, you know, pretty much upload an image. So Google, he made up basically a way to draw an image or use your webcam and upload it to Google Images and it will return an image. We have a post about this on October 4th at seroundtable.com. Um, talking about Google Image Search uh, by image, Google will actually now. Google it doesn't really say how long Google keeps your image. Like, let's say you upload an image of yourself. Do you want Google to keep that image? Is it a private image that you don't want them to have? Um, it's hard to know exactly how long and what sensitive information Google will keep when you upload an image to Google Image Search by Image. Just keep that in mind. Google also launched Google Trusted Stores. It's a new badge system where they, merchants could actually go ahead and apply for it. and You have to send them data about reviews and stuff like that. Um, and to apply, you can go ahead and apply. You get this cool little badge you can put on your site at Google Trusted Door. I'm um, not really sure how it would affect your rankings in Google Search. It might have, obviously, an impact in Google Product Search. Uh, but it is like Google saying, we vouch for this website. And to be, you know, for more information about that, October 4th at seroundtable.com. Google's also testing out these new Google circular ads. It's basically, you know, how you see cir circulars in newspapers, like, but you know, those, like, printouts where you can actually view catalogs and uh, brochures from different uh, vendors and different merchants and retailers. Google's testing out a new ad format, supposedly, uh, with, uh, with various retailers, I think including uh, Best Buy um, and some others. 
uh, where they're going to be in a search ad, which actually is a circular. When you click on it, it has like a circular come up. So I haven't seen it myself. If you see it, let me know. It would be interesting to see. Uh, two years later, Google has removed or has announced that they're going to go ahead and uh, get rid of the old AdSense interface. Um, I think they're doing this sometime in uh, November of this year. So if you are using the old interface uh, for AdSense, it's going away. Um, it has taken them two years to announce it. Bing has made some major announcement, uh, enhancements to the big local, big business portal for business listings in the maps. They added group deals, virtual punch cards like loyalty offers. Uh, they could create printed materials such as business cards and a lot of other features. So you might want to take a look at it. We have lots and lots of screenshots. October 7th, which is today, at SEOroundtable.com. Um, Google Maps added a 3D helicopter view last week. It's pretty cool. You can actually change it to a 3D view and it actually will show you the driving directions as you drive. It's a very cool and neat uh, way of doing it. Um, Google's 13th birthday was um, last week on Wednesday, September 27th. Happy birthday, Google. Um, it actually is, 13th birthday is a bar mitzvah, so happy bar mitzvah. Um, Steve Jobs, unfortunately, passed away the other day. Um, October 5th, it was a very, very sad day, the day after they announced the new iPhone 4S. I look and sound this way because I actually purchased the iPhone 4S this morning at 3 o'clock, or it took me an hour, so about 4 o'clock I purchased it, um, so I'm exhausted. But um, Steve Jobs, pretty much changed pretty much almost everybody's life that I know of, uh, has passed away six months, uh, sorry, six weeks after stepping down as CEO. Um, and obviously it had impact on everything, not just on Google, not just on Yahoo, not just on my company and myself, it has an impact on pretty much everybody out there in the world. And um, it's sad to lose him, but there was some post about why doesn't Google have a special logo for him. Google did place a Steve Jobs 1955 to 2011 link on the bottom of the page, as out of respect, Google does not like to do sad logos. Um, I do expect one to honor him in the future, uh, but not, not on the day he died. Not something like that on the day he died. Uh, finally, we, I finally announced the XMX Israel show. Yes, uh, we used to do it called SpinCom, but now it is XMX Israel. It is on Sunday, January 15th. You can sign up now and register. It's only $100 a ticket. So typically these conferences cost about $1,000. So your flight will be about $1,000 if you came from America. And you'll pay about $100 for a ticket. Definitely worth coming. If you want to speak, let me know. If you want to sponsor, let me know. That'd be great. Um, it's at the Imba Hotel in Jerusalem. It's definitely a great place to go take your family and learn about his history. It's a very historic city. Um, and plus, you'll have a day full of learning and networking with um, Israeli SEOs. So it's definitely um, uh, something to check out. And you can register now. There's an early bird price from $100. It goes up after that. Um, and thanks to all the sponsors, including Majestic SEO, Analytics Ninja, Universal, McCarran Search, Mad Bibby, it's an email software, Go Internet Marketing, and the Imba Hotel for the being the early sponsors. And um, that pretty much recaps it. So again, next week I won't be doing the video. The week after I probably won't be doing it either. Maybe I'll do one on Sunday. Hey everyone, thanks so much for listening to the Search Buzz video recap. My name again is Barry Schwartz. This is the search news we covered over the past two weeks. Today is October 7th. Everyone have a great weekend. And anybody uh, observing Yom Kippur, have an easy and meaningful fast. Thanks. Bye.